Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today before getting into games 6 through 10 from this week's weekend league got a couple of announcements to make so in previous videos I often talked about the fact that I'm going to start doing a Patriots ebook but don't worry about it I'll still, I'll still do that ebook I'll still break down two or three more formations but this is not gonna be the offense that I'm running just because this past uh, weekend league I tried out a new close flex again ran a little bit with it it is really good i want to do that i want to run that also going to break this down even further i already did the video on this but it was really like just uh brushing over like the basics not really going in depth i want to really break this formation down further it's really good you should check it out just know i'll keep doing the patriots offense keep doing videos on those on this but also know that i'm going to be running near close and also going to be breaking this down even further that's just a little heads up also please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons gonna uh, hit 500 subscribers in about a week or so if you want to make that quicker please do so let me know that you enjoy the videos by also hitting the like button and also enjoy the comments always enjoy reading them and responding to them so go do that without further ado let's break down these six ga uh, these five games no five games not six these five games okay so as already mentioned this is game number six of this weekend's league this is my opponent's top three he has joe burrow which i'm interested to see how he plays he of course got drafted by the Bengals, first overall pick he seems to be a pretty good quarterback because i've seen that some other people use them first possession i got the ball first not getting anything going he's starting to drive the ball a little bit as you can see up in the upper uh, up in the upper right corner uh, this was on stream he pl runs play action and yeah he just gets absolutely dominated like I said, this was on stream. Go check out the Twitch link is in the description. He's in the red zone because of that and finds a beautiful laser to the back of the end zone. Go goes up seven to zero. I'm running a slot offset. Did already did a video on this. Pretty good offense. Um, this corner route is money versus cover two. Just throw it. Bam, really easy. Running the same play again. This time he's looking out for it. I make the progression to the running back. And that is just a super unfortunate animation. Animation. This is why passing the ball is so difficult because a lot of the times. Uh, the ball gets tipped up into the air, which really doesn't make much sense there. Like, I don't understand why it got tipped up that much into the air. He got a pick. He throws it into coverage, which is a deserved pick. Mine, on the other hand, was pretty unfortunate. But nevertheless, gonna swerve him out a little bit there. Deion Sanders, he is just way too quick for an offensive lineman. Like, whoever that is, offensive lineman is not gonna chase down 99 speed. Deion Sanders goes to the end zone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful return. I say that way too often, I'm sorry. He runs the crossing route. Don't get the pick there, even though I think that I was in a pretty good spot. Already in the red zone because of that. And look at me go, rolling out. Trying to throw the corner out. Look at me go, throw a dumb interception. That's just what you gotta do, man. You gotta keep opponents in the game to make them not regret booting up, man. Anyways, he gets the ball. Luckily, he's as blind as his nail as well. So, yeah. Give me the ball right back. Um, number 26, Taylor Mays forgot that he's an athlete right there and forgot to stand up quickly. Get the ball, though. Willerot seems open. I throw it, and it's it's just not open, man. That's just very undisciplined. You gotta recognize that that is U trips. That is another formation I'm gonna do a video on. Uh, video on once again in the Patriots offense and yeah to keep going he right here at the end of the half he has the in route not open and he just throws it I'm thinking okay I gotta get his option right here because Taylor Mace is just quicker than Joe Burrow and I had him if I had just gone gone to the left I would have had him didn't do it though very bad by me he gets the ball out of half, which is like pretty unfortunate. But what's more fortunate is that he still cannot pass the ball to save his life. Very bad pass by him. Dion makes another pick. Once again, in the red zone. And this time, I'm not going to screw it up. Like, I'm not going to screw it up. Vic is just too quick. I'm sorry. You're not going to catch Vic. At least not on my watch. I don't think. He throws this land on fourth down. Already in the red zone right here. Very good throw by him. I would have liked this to be uh, maybe a fumble. Right there, that was right at me. Like I said, the interceptions have been killing in this game. He's not, he wasn't that bad of a player. He just threw it direct me continuous, uh, continuously. So, very bad by him. That field goal, he's like, okay, I've had enough. Like, you're good and I'm not. I've just been throwing pick after pick after pick. I'm done with that. Next game, already 5-1 and one at this point, I think. Uh, this time in, I mean, the Cowboys Stadium, and he has Lam Lamar Jackson. Anytime you see this Lamar Jackson, you gotta be very because he's 
he's a pretty good player already in my opponent's territory right there running the angle route you will see oh he almost got there that's thankfully uh cornerbacks don't get animations almost in the end zone not quite heading it off to my fullback i think that was or maybe it was even a qb sneak i don't didn't quite see he get he, get, he comes back though good run by him very unfortunate man you just totally missed him that that sucks not gonna lie running a cover through a uh, cover two beater right here trying to get it open um nothing is open i scramble with with vic down to the six yard line just about third and inches third inches you gotta love it whenever that happens just get the pass off i was that was very close he sent the crib just got the pass off so pretty unfortunate uh, pretty fortunate by me but you know i'll take it he comes out in offset tight end which is not the best offense against blitzes and right there he just throws it directly at me like come on man just let me swerve out the offensive lineman a little bit he's like no i don't i'm not feeling it everybody is uh heating me up everybody's sending crazy blitzes at me you're not gonna be another one i i've had enough of this tight offset tight end it's not good versus blitzes i'm not feeling it Six and one at this point. Um, this is my opponent's top three. Once again, I'm at home, and at home is where we shine. We we we're balling out in our do in our small little dome. Just kidding, not getting anything going on offense. Um, he gets the ball, and I punt it in bounds, which is very bad because now he has Tyree Kill back there who can make some moves. He gains a lot of yards on that return. That was really stupid by me actually to kick it off to him like that. He's in deuce close, and that is a very tough offense to stop because I'm bad at this game. And he's he's also not he's also not particularly great at this game. He just throws it directly at me, doesn't get punished, and then Ed just falls forward. That, that's what people say. If you don't get a pick on a, on a play, you should have gotten a pick on. Be wary of a touchdown. They're gonna score a touchdown on you. Right there, I'm running ace close a little bit, which is a very good offense. Like this right there is just it's just wide open. Very beautiful. The streak could have also been open if he had used it, any of the corner rods. Anyways, other than that, I don't get anything. Take my three. Down four points and he gets that completion. Like I don't know, Chief. I don't know what I was doing at that point. That was pretty poor defense. It was like pretty obvious that there was no other zone to guard that besides my user. After all of that, thankfully we hold him to three points, so we still have a shot before half to get some points. But we can't. We can't capitalize. We throw it directly at the, at uh, Troy P. He was covering the drag. Good, good play by him, I guess. Doesn't get anything going neither. Get we get the ball. A little bit of time, not really able to do anything. Running this cover two beater once again. Can we get it open? We can. We can. Okay, we can. So this cover two beater, I've noticed that, yeah, like he's not that great at uh, playing coverage defense because this cover two can just be really easily exploited. Exploited. Now right there, I threw a pick because Michael Vick overthrew it. What can you do? I know what you can do. You can play defense. Um, he just threw it directly at me. That was a very poor stop and go. I don't know what I was doing there. That was like not not at all pretty. Anyways, in the red zone, getting a chance, and this time I'm not gonna miss it. I'm not gonna miss it twice. This corner out was wide open. Uh, good throw. Also a good catch by Darren Waller. If you guys want to invest in a tight end, Darren Waller is the guy. I know there's a new Evan Engram. He's probably a bit more expensive, so I would go with Darren Waller. Whichever one you can afford them, they're pretty they're pretty much interchangeable. Uh, Engram has like plus one speed, but I don't think it matters that much. He run commits right there. I don't know why why he'd run commit. Good return, one play, field goal is up. Boom, won that game. Uh, seven one at this point. Um, he's not too excited. Um, what's his name? Steelers coach. Not too excited. He's not. Uh, this is my opponent's top three. Uh, you can see that this uniform. First of all, these uniforms are fire. Both the Oakland Raiders uh, color rush and the green bay packers ones they are really fire but we gotta get something going this corner out right there got open just in time i was actually very close though i'm not used to making that throw made it it was open thankfully got the first down on it on the fourth down that was pretty clutch he's he ran a lot of man coverage which i don't know why because it's like really easy to just run corner outs from the tight end or whatever right there swerve him up beautiful uh man coverage is not the move against me just gonna say it right now got hot rod master many many posts in corner route speed man coverage right there he got streamed that not even a blitz he just got shedded julius peppers came in and he just said okay i'm gonna shed you and he shedded and he was not feeling he was not feeling that game he just left um eight and one i think 
in one I think that might be very accurate. <sighs> Last game of the video. This guy has a really interesting top three because uh, it's very rare that you see a tight end out there that is lit up. And also, he's got Tony G. I have not seen a lot of Tony Gs out there. He's running some sort of weird streak with his halfback. Why do you toss it up one on one halfback versus cornerback? That's just not something that you're going to win. Like, I'm sorry. Sorry to break it to you, but that was a very dumb decision right there. That route beats man coverage as well. That's out of ace close. Really, really good stuff. Got down to the nine yard line just about. I'm running uh, once again ace close. Nothing is really open. I just risk it and he doesn't make the tackle. Nine and speed Vic. He's, he's really quick in the open field. Let me tell you this. He is really fast. Right there, jukes. Boom. That's what we want to, that's what we, that's what we want to see happen. Whenever he jukes into it, like that was just that was a dumb decision by him. I think he's got enough at this point. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He was not feeling that. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Be on the lookout for the Patriots offense to be continued a little bit, and also uh, in the near future, give me like two weeks. I'm gonna lab it a bit, play against some really good people, try it out, what to do. Uh, give me some time for this. Um, it's close. No, not it's close. Near close flex offense. Really good stuff. I would recommend you to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss none of those videos. Also going to continue the Weekend League reca recap. See you tomorrow and tonight on stream. Have a great day. Uh, keep doing good with Corona. See you.